All right, guys, Bobby B is in the game. Okay, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you hit this like button and subscribe because I'm planning to give you a lot of value, uh, especially when it comes to trading cryptocurrencies, right? So when I release new videos, you want to be able to see that, right? That's why you go ahead now and hit this bell to subscribe. Okay, in this video, I will show you how to use isolated margin in Binance, right? How to use isolated margin in Binance. I'll show you everything. Don't you guys worry. I'll show you how to transfer capital there, how to open uh, positions, close positions, long shorts. I'll show you how to repay debt, how to do everything basically, right? But before we dive into that, I want to make sure that you understand what you have to have in order to, to trade at all right in order to trade in general let me tell you something trading is a zero sum game right so in order for you to make money someone else is losing money right this is how it works right so you can't expect that you will because i see so many new people right now jumping into margin trading with, with zero experience and the chances are that they are going to lose their money, right? Even if they got lucky in the short term, in the long term, they're going to lose not only the money that they profited because they got lucky, but they're going to lose a lot more, right? And I don't, I want to make sure that this is not going to happen. So let me tell you something since the very beginning. If you just want to learn how to trade isolated margin in order to lose your money, right? Go ahead, close this video and find any other video on YouTube that is going to teach you how just to use isolated margin, right? And this is what you're going to get. You're going to learn how to use it and then you're going to lose your money, right? If you want on the other side to still learn how to use the isolated margin, but also learn how to use it in order to make money consistently long term, right? Then you stick with this video and pay attention on what I'm going to teach you, right? It's very, very important. So I already told you. Trading is a zero-sum game. If you just go out there and play in the isolated margin without knowing what you are doing, it's a casino, right? I mean, it's not a it's like you are going into a casino and just gambling, right? It's a gambling. On the other side, if you pay attention on what I'm going to teach you here, you are going to be the casino, right? Because the way that I trade, I am the casino. I am not the the, the one who, the person who goes there, uh, drink whiskey and gamble their money. I am the casino, right? And the casino always win in the long term. And I make money in the long term, month upon month upon month, right? So I want to teach you how to do the same. So before you even go to use isolated margin, you have to have a strategy, right? A trading strategy. You have to have a trading strategy, a trading plan, right? If you just go and buy something without a plan, you're going to lose your money, right? Even if you get lucky, one more time to mention, if, even if you get lucky this time, long term, you cannot make it, right? Because trading is a game of probabilities. There are no certainties, right? So you need a strategy that has chances on your side. So before you even jump there, find a good strategy, right? So here is my strategy, my indicator that is based on my strategy, right? So this is the first thing that you must have a trading strategy with clear entries and exits. So once this strategy gives you an entry, right? You then go to uh, risk management, which is a spreadsheet, right? And this, this process, guys, that I'm teaching you right now, this is before you even go to execute in the isolated margin to buy or sell something, right? This is the process before you, you even get to here. So first, having trading strategy, profitable in the long term. If you just pick a trading strategy from YouTube uh, and you don't even test it and you don't even make sure that it's making money long term, you're still going to lose your money, right? The key here is to pick a profitable trading strategy, right? So let's say you already have that, right? So I have here my indicator. So my indicator that is based on my strategy that I develop uh, is telling me to go long right here. Okay, to entry long, long right here, in, this is Bitcoin, right? This is Bitcoin uh, and this is a two hour chart. So I have my indicator and it's telling me to go long. The second thing that you then are going to do is get a spreadsheet, right? In order to have a strict risk management, this spreadsheet, I will leave a link um, below this video, right in the description of this video, so you can get this spreadsheet. You can use this spreadsheet for cross margin, for isolated margin, Bitcoin pairs, USDT pairs and everything, right? 
and also not only that but I have a count tracker basically here you can put your account balance at the beginning of the month then your account balance at the end of the month and you will see how much profit and loss you have for this month also uh, in per on percentage basis right for example for the month of January let me see what do we have here just to show you right here for the month of January I have like 78 percent let, let's just quickly see that for the month of January I have 78 percent profits on my account and for January I traded on a small account like five thousand dollars now in February I will be trading on a, a bigger account so let me just go here to USDT benchmark oops so Binance is doing that as well but I still prefer the spreadsheet because it's kind of it can be more accurate right so Binance is still showing you this so for example for the uh, if you go right here in this menu that I just show you and you go to USDT uh, you will see and you click here this month so you will see that from from the the beginning of the month right now is today's 29 actually and I am up 73% on the account okay so let's go back but again you can use this right here and this it, it will show you here a graph so you can see over time let's say after 10 months if you are making money or you are losing money what's going on at all right and this will be automatically calculated and will be sh showing everything from the spreadsheet all right so let's now start over again right so the first thing to have strategy then the strategy is telling you to go long right so you then uh, are going to use the spreadsheet right so let's say that we want to trade uh, in a isolated right Bitcoin USDT so you have to pick in the spreadsheet you have to use this one right you see here uh, we have cross margin and isolated margin right so here is the spreadsheet for the cross margin and it's one spreadsheet for USDT and BTC pairs for the isolated you have two different spreadsheet for BTC and for USDT pairs right so let me just charge my laptop real quick. Okay, so in this case, we want to use which one, guys? When we trade Bitcoin against USDT, because here we are getting a signal to enter, right? Bitcoin USDT. So obviously, we're going to use this one, right? So you're going to go right here. Uh, then find here Bitcoin or if it's not here just add it right here Bitcoin USDT okay now here is the date you can put the date if you want so today is uh, what 29 uh, January right and then here if you are long or short right S stands for short L stands for long right and then here is the most important guys stop loss right you must have a stop loss and you must know where your stop loss is before you even enter the trade right before you even go into the isolated margin to buy something guys you must first have a reason to buy something and this reason cannot be hey someone on twitter told me to buy no 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 let me tell you something i've done that in the past and it's not working this reason cannot be hey i uh, i saw on the news that bitcoin is going up let's go and buy no this cannot be the reason the reason should be must be it's not a should right it must be from an indicator or technical analysis basically whatever you exactly are using right but this must be the reason not something like uh, what i mentioned right and after you have this reason, before you even go to the isolated margin to buy something, you must know where your stop loss is going to be, right? Because again, trading is a game of probabilities. There are no certainties. You cannot know for sure that something is going to happen on 100%. And since you don't know that, you cannot uh, bet all your money, right? Because if you enter without a stop loss, all your money are at risk. Do you understand that? Does it make sense, guys? All your money are at risk. So you can lose it all in a single trade. It happened to me before and I don't want it to happen to you, right? So the indicator is telling me to buy right here. I will. I would place my stop loss below this level right here. So let me use this feature and say that I'm going to enter right here. And then my stop loss is going to be right here. 3.3% away. So now I'm going to the spreadsheet. And I will put here the percentage stop loss is 3.13, right? 
this is what you, you have to do. The next thing you have to do is your account balance. What is your account balance, right? So my account balance is $12,600, right? So let's put this right here. This is how it's, it's being done, right? You will put here your whole account balance, right? Overall account balance. If I go here in overview, uh, you will see that all my money are in the gross margin because this is where I trade. Uh, but if you have some money in the spot or somewhere else, you... I mean, this still depends on you, right? But me personally, I always use my whole account balance. So in this case, it's $12,600. So let's put here account balance $12,600. And then right here, this is being calculated for me automatically. What does it mean position size? Position size is basically for how much I'm going to buy. Right? For how much I'm going to buy. And in this case, what is risk? Right? Risk is basically my risk uh, if this trade goes wrong, right? So I'm risking 1% of my account on a single trade, meaning that if I'm wrong for this trade, right? And if I lose this trade, I cannot lose more than 1% of my account, which is $126, right? But don't you guys worry for this because this will be calculated automatically for you. You just have to put your account balance and these two, which are the most important, one of the most important, right, together with the stop loss, are going to be calculated automatically for you. And I know that some of you might be like, oh, I don't want to do all this type of stuff. I just want to go to the isolated margin and trade. You guys remember what I told you since the very beginning? If you just want to learn how to trade in the isolated margin and go and lose all your money, you go ahead, close this video and go somewhere else, right? All other videos on YouTube, they will show you how to quickly lose everything that you own, right? They, they will teach you that, I, I can assure you. If on the other side you want to make money consistently in the isolated margin, you have to follow this process, right? You must follow this process. So stick with me. The one of you who stick with me, you guys are the one who will make money and you guys are going to be the very small percentage who actually are profitable in this game because most of the people are losing their shirt in this game. Uh, all right. So before I even buy in the isolated margin, I, I have to go through this process in order to know for how much I have to buy, right? I just don't, for example, when I get signal from my indicator, I'm not just going to go ahead and, and buy for uh, my whole, with my whole account balance or something like that. I first have to use the spreadsheet, right? And then I have to, I can't go and buy because I now already know for how much I can buy. Position size, it means for how much you can buy, right? So I can buy Bitcoin. I can go ahead now and buy Bitcoin for 4,026, right? The next thing that you guys want to do uh, is basically, let me just see why this is not showing here. Um, let me just check something. I don't know for what reason this is not working, but I'm going to check it after the video. Basically, this is supposed to tell you, uh, let me, this right here supposed to tell you how much you, uh, you should put, how many dollars you have to put in your, um, mar in your isolated margin, right? But for some reason, it's not really working right now. I have to check it. I'm going to check it after the video and, and fix it, right? And this is will give you basically the number just as it has a little bit of a description right here. This tells you the minimum amount of BTC or in this case, it's going to be USD, the minimum amount of dollars that you have to transfer in your uh, isolated margin, right? For some reason, it's not doing the calculations right now, but I'm going to fix that. Anyway, let's now move to the isolated margin and show you how to execute the trade. So far, we know that we can uh, buy, we have to buy for $4,000, right? So let me show you now how all this is being done. First, I have to basically uh, put a little bit of money out, uh, in my fiat wallet because this is how it works in order to put money in the isolated margin. So let me now move from cross margin to fiat and spot let me move like 1k all right 
Okay, we have this now. Let's go to the um, trading and I'll show you how to execute trades in the isolated margin, right? This is what you came from and finally we are going there, right? Okay. So right here is your spot cross and isolated. You always have to make sure that you are aware where you are because uh, right when you go here sometimes it's in spot sometimes in cross in cross uh, it really depends so you have to always make sure right now we want to go into the isolated right so here is my isolated here is everything right and I have to I know now from my spreadsheet that I have to buy Bitcoin for four thousand dollars right so as you guys can see, I don't have any capital in this isolated margin. So the first thing before I even think about, uh, I mean, not before I even think about, before, I, before I'm able to execute the trade, I have to transfer capital here, right? So let's put the 1K here that we have and let's see how to execute, right? So here is the spot, by the way, um, did you saw like earlier how I moved my money from cross margin to spot? I did that for purpose because there is no option to move money from cross to isolated, right? So if your money are in the cross, first you have to move it in the spot wallet, right? Just like what I did. And then from the spot wallet, you can move it to the isolated margin, right? So what you can see right now is that I have two options. I have the option to move Bitcoin or USDT. I don't have Bitcoin, so I have to move USDT. Right, so you have to click here on USDT, and then I will transfer my whole bal my whole balance from the spot, which is one thousand dollars. Right. So when I put this money here, now I can already open the trade. Right, and the isolated margin, uh, it's basically ten x, five x, and three x, depending on the asset. Right. If we open here, if we click right here, and we go to the isolated. You will see that for some pairs it's 5x, for some pairs it's 3x, for some it's 10x, right? And depending on how much the margin is, you have to uh, you have to know how much the margin is in order to know how much money to transfer, right? This is why we have here, in, this is now a spreadsheet, but for some reason it's not working now. Uh, but this is very easy to calculate even without a spreadsheet, right? If 10x, if you are available, if it says 10x, it means that you are available to borrow 10 times more than your money, right? So if I'm, if I have to enter $4,000 straight, it means that I can put like how much I can put at least for at least like $500 in order to open this trade, right? Or at some 600, 700 uh, is, is already okay. Because if you transfer the minimum, you might be liquidated before you even, your stop loss even got hit, right? If the margin is 5x, it means that in order to play $4,000 position, I have to transfer at least 1K, right? If the margin is even less, three, even, even less 3X, I have to transfer a lot more money, right? So now for the Bitcoin, the margin is 10X. So meaning that with this 1K that I transfer here, I can borrow like 9K more, should be able to borrow 9K more, exactly. You see that I, I have, I can play up to 9K, right? Actually, I, I'm able to borrow 8K more and basically play with 9K total. Okay, so now in order to execute the trade, right, you just have here like uh, this uh, regular orders, right, the limit market. I don't know if I should go to and explain you that. I have other, other videos that explain this, but I can actually go quickly through that as well because probably most of you are not going to know what is limit market and stop limit. So the limit order is basically when you want to buy at a given price. Let's say that I want to buy Bitcoin at 19,000 or let's say 32,000, right? I'm going to put here the 32,000 price and then I'm going to put here uh, that I want to buy for like $4,000, right? And this is the limit order. When I put this order here, uh, let's say actually put it, we have to go in the borrow mode. Let's actually put this order right here. And this is what a limit order is, right? And this limit order will be executed only if the Bitcoin goes down to 32,000, right? This is how it works. If it doesn't, if it never goes down to that price, this order will never be executed, right? And some people are confused here. Do I pay fees? Do I don't pay fees? 
you will pay fees for the order only if it's executed, right? It doesn't matter for how long it stays, you're not going to be paying fees for the order, but you are going to be paying fees for the amount of money that you borrowed, right? Because in this case, I put here $1,000. You remember, guys, I put $1,000 here. I borrowed three more thousand for this order, 3,000 more. So I will be basically be paying uh, interest on this $3,000 per hour, right? So you ha you have to make sure that you are aware of this. And this interest is not that big. You can check all the interest here. I think it's like 0 0.15 or how much was for, for the um, uh, USDT, Binance. Margin trading fees. If you just... Uh, we're not going to go because this video will go too long, but if you just put this in Google and go right here, you will be able to see the fees for or, for every asset that, that, is, that you can uh, borrow, right? Okay, so this is the limit order. The market order on the other side uh, is if you are in a rush and want to buy right now at the current price, right? So if you, if for example, I'm in a rush right now and want to buy Bitcoin for $4,000, I will just put here the amount that I want to buy and this amount right here, this number right here, guys, is coming from the spreadsheet. This is not some random number. It's coming from the spreadsheet and to be accurate, it's like $4,026, right? So you can put this number from your spreadsheet uh, uh, depending on how much you have to buy for and then you can, if I just click hit, I mean, if I just hit this button margin by BTC, I will, my order will be out, uh, uh, executed right away, right? So I don't want to do that with 4K. Let's just do it $15, right? So if I, uh, we don't even have to go to the borrow mode, just to show you how this uh, market order is working, right? The moment you hit buy, you will, you will see that, uh, let me show you right now something. We don't have any Bitcoin, right? We don't have any Bitcoin available. You will see that now when I buy this, we will instantly have, Bitcoin available there and it's gonna be a little bit right because we just bought for $15 let's go to the more go to the normal mode and now you see we have a little bit of balance right so this is how the market order works and now if I want to market sell this I'm just gonna go here and sell 100% of my BTC balance market sell right that's how it works okay so this is the market order and then you have stop limit and OCO order, right? Two more uh, types of order. Stop limit is basically your stop loss. You remember, guys, that I told you from the beginning that you always, I mean, you must have a stop loss always, right? So in this case, and this is in the past, right, when the Bitcoin was like 19,000, but uh, imagine that it's right now and we enter you. The first thing that you're going to do after you execute the trade, as I already show you, right, I already show you how to buy, right, either limit or market. You use one of these two options to execute your trade, right? Once you do that, you then have to set your stop loss right away, right? And how do you set your stop loss? First, uh, when you buy something, your stop loss is always going to be sell, right? Because it's how you exit this trade. If you uh, short sell something, if you are shorting something, your stop loss, stop limit order is going to be buy, right? This is how shorting works. So in this case, we bet that Bitcoin is going to go up, right? So we um, basically have to set a sell stop limit, right? And in order to do that, you just first have to go to sell, then click on stop limit. And now you have to place your order. And this is very, very important, guys. And I see people doing the mistake of not setting this stop loss properly and then their stop loss is not triggered. And then uh, I know someone who actually got liquidated because uh, uh, he did not set his stop loss properly so it's very important how to set the stop loss properly right so you have two prices that you have to put in stop and limit right stop and limit uh, the stop price is going to be the price that you want to exit at right so in this case you remember guys what we did here for our trade uh, in this case we were going to exit 
we want to exit at $18,655 and don't get confused that right now the Bitcoin is so much up. I'm just giving you an example here from the indicator, right? Let's imagine that Bitcoin is like $19,000 now. We enter the trade and we want to set the stop loss, right? Forget about, I mean, ignore the fact that right now it's 36000 Okay. So our stop loss is basically at around 18600 let's say. So this is basically where we are saying, okay, uh, if it goes there, I'm wrong, so I want to exit, right? So I'm going to put here $18,600. Then I'm going to put here the, in the, this price right here, it has to be lower, right? It has to be lower. So this price right here always has to be lower when you are setting a sales stop limit. You can even put $1 here and it's still okay. So how does it work, right? When this price is reached, this is called a triggered, right? When this price is reached, a limit order will be placed on the exchange and the limit order will be with this price. So basically, let's say that we want to, uh, let's say that we bought like 0 0.10 BTC. Uh, so when this price is reached, this will trigger this order, right? A limit order to be placed on the exchange. And this limit order will be like, I want to sell 0 0.1 BTC at $1. But some people are mistaken in here. Oh, I'm really going to sell my uh, 0 0.10 BTC. Or let's say, let's put even here 1 BTC, right? Just to get an idea. And people are like, oh, this is showing me $1. So it means that if I do that, I'm going to uh, make $1. No, this is just, I mean, Binance is not like, uh, they don't really have the best uh, user interface, right? I don't, they don't really have the best features right here, at least in this moment that I'm recording this, but they are improving. So I hope in the future they will improve. So this, this is not going to happen ever in the world, right? Because when this price is reached, they will basically put a limit order, this limit order, but there is no way for you to sell on $1. You will basically sell at the very close to this price. You will sell, they will basically sell your Bitcoin to these buyers that are right here. So it's going to be very close to this price. You don't have to worry that you are going to sell your Bitcoin at $1, right? So, but if, if you are worried, you can put here like 18,400 just to make sure. The key here is that this price has to be lower than this one when you are setting your stop loss in order to be executed properly and of course here the amount of bitcoin that you bought you have to put it so this is how you place your stop loss right and now you are ready to go basically you are in this trade and you are ready to go when your strategy tells you to exit you are just going to exit or your stop loss is going to be hit one of the two will happen and now we are coming to the point when you have to when you exited the trade right and now you have to repay your debt right so how do you do that First, you can use uh, this option right here since the very beginning when you are placing your orders, right? And if you use this option, basically your debt will be automatically calculated. The problem here is that sometimes they will be left over, right? And I see people don't really pay attention on that. And at some point, uh, for example, I had a student who uh, like had uh, how much like, I don't remember the number, but probably six hundred dollars in debt something like that right and he, he wasn't even aware he had that and this was from all these small trades when he did not repay all his debt he did not repay all his debt right and it's stacking 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 and basically he was paying an hourly interest on this money which is not the ideal case right so instead of using this option i encourage you to basically use the normal and the borrow only not to use the repay instead of using the repay this here you are going to use the repay here so once your trade is closed right you then are going to go here repay then you are going to go uh, to the assets that you rep uh, that you borrowed in this case we did not borrow bitcoin we borrow usdt right so you're gonna click here usdt and then you're gonna repay your debt so even if you have even if let's say that you have available uh, nine hundred ninety dollars, right? But your debt is one thousand dollars. If you use this option right here, you're not even gonna be aware that you still have ten dollars ten dollars debt left. But if you use this option that I'm showing you right here, which is again from here, if you use this option, you will be 
basically aware of that. So what you can do, you can transfer some more money then and to repay all your debt, right? And then once you repay all the debt, you can basically move your money out from here uh, if you want to. And this is how you do it. You're just going to hit transfer. You're going to hit right here this one because now you want to move from BTC USD isolated to spot, right? And you want to move now all your USDT and then you're just going to hit confirm and that's it, right? You are already done with this trade. Everything is set, right? So now let's give another example, right? But I'm not going to give a full example with the with, with the indicator and everything because it's going to take a lot of time. So let's close this. But we're still going to use the spreadsheet, right? Because I want to show you how to use it for BTC pairs as well. So let's say that for some, for, for a reason, right? Let's say that your strategy or my indicator is giving me a signal to buy Ethereum BTC, right? So let's go to Ethereum BTC to show you how to do everything. Uh, where is Ethereum BTC right here? Okay. So here we have Ethereum BTC. Now, again, the first step is always to have a strategy in place, right? You should not buy just based on... Uh, not really a valid reason you already guys know what is a valid reason so once you have a valid reason and then you you want to buy ethereum btc you also have to know where your stop loss is right once you know where your stop loss is you are going to go to the spreadsheet and then click here on the btc pairs you're gonna find here ethereum btc right here let's say that we want to go long ethereum btc right so your stop loss is uh, let's say going to be 5% away, right? But you guys have to determine this based on uh, like based on whatever reason for whatever reason you are setting your stop losses, right? Mine, I'm setting it based on market structure, right? But for you, whatever it is, but you must have a stop loss and you must know how far the stop loss is, right? Otherwise, you are just gambling and you don't want to do that. You want to be the casino in this game, not the drunk guy who's uh, betting all his money there, right? Then you're going to put here your account balance. Let's say that's the account balance, right? So now you again have your position size. But you might be like, all right, we have a little bit of a problem here, right? Because I have to buy Ethereum Bitcoin, but I'm getting here a position size in dollars. And if we go here, you will see that there is no such an option, right? I mean, when you have, when you want to buy Ethereum BTC, there is no option to put here amount of dollars. You have to put amount of Bitcoin. So this is when the spreadsheet is coming into the game, right? This is why I again encourage you to go in the link below and to get the spreadsheet, right? So the spreadsheet here, what you have to do now is to put the current price of Bitcoin so you will get the your position size in Bitcoin, right? So right now the Bitcoin is how much? 30 six thousand how much is it let's see uh btc thirty six thousand six hundred seventy dollars right so you're gonna put the current price right here thirty six six hundred seventy and once you put this price you uh let me just put the formula here because for some reason the formula is not here uh let i'll put the formula so when you are getting this spreadsheet the formula will be here already so you need we need to do this divide by this so this is the amount of bitcoin let me just drag this down so the formula will be here okay actually now this started to work probably because uh yeah because we have this one all right so we have here uh, the position size in bitcoin right so once you get this number you now can go to the isolated margin and actually open the trade right because you have this position size in bitcoin so this number 0 0.0687 you're gonna you can go to market order to borrow mode now first of course you have to transfer assets right first of course you have to transfer assets so you're gonna click on transfer and then you have to transfer from spot to the isolated you have two options either to transfer ethereum or bitcoin right i don't have any of this i don't have bitcoin i don't have ethereum so 
uh, this is why if you want to use the isolated margin, you, you just have to, to have some Bitcoin or you can go ahead and buy some and then transfer it. This is the first step. Once you transfer your Bitcoin here and to know how much Bitcoin you have to transfer, you can use the spreadsheet. So this is at the minimum amount that you must transfer 0.00982. So let's do that again. I don't have Bitcoin, so I will not be able to do that. But let's say that we have, so we were going to transfer 0.00982, right? Okay. So we're going to transfer that much Bitcoin here, hit confirm. And you will be able to now click on bottom mode and execute this trade. And in order to execute this trade, you just you can use market order. And then right here, you will put this number from the spreadsheet. This number, 0.06. 8, 7. This is your position size in Bitcoin. So if you lose this trade, you still have your risk management in place and you're still going to lose only 1% of your account, right? And this is important, guys. Risk management is reason number one why most people are losing their money in trading. So, so that's why you want to make sure that you are using this spreadsheet and you are using risk management. So this is for how much you're going to buy Ethereum, right? 0. 0678 is that the 687 anyway this is then you're just gonna hit margin buy right ethereum then the next step as you guys already know is to go to sell click on stop limit and place your stop loss right place your stop loss so let's say that we are entering right now and let's say that we want to exit at 0 0.0034 right I'm just giving some random numbers. It's not 0, 0, 0.034, it's 0 0.034. And this number, of, again, you're going to get it from your uh, from the trading view where you are deciding where your stop loss is, right? So let's say that, let's look right here. Let's say that the stop loss we want to, uh, we can set it right here or right here. Let's say that it's 0, 0.0 below this level, we want to set the stop loss. So in this case, it's going to be 0 0.0329. Here, of course, we have to put a lower price, as you guys already know, and this is very, very important. Here we're going to put 100% of our Ethereum that we have, and we're just going to hit sell, and we have our stop loss in place. Then one of the two things is going to happen. Either this trade is going to go in our direction, and we're going to make money, and our strategy at some point we're going to tell us, hey, it's time to exit, so we're going to take profits, or our stop loss is going to be hit, right? Whatever of the two happens, this trade is going to be closed, right? So the next step after this trade is closed, you have to go to repay, right? Go to repay, hit here Bitcoin or whatever of the two you borrowed, and then hit here maximum amount, basically to repay all your debt, confirm repayment, and you are ready to go. Then you can transfer back your money. When you click on transfer, click from isolated to spot, Click on Bitcoin and put all your Bitcoin and you can put it back in your spot wallet. This is how basically you use the isolated margin to trade, right? Now, I'm not going to give you any more examples. I think we are okay. Or I can actually give you one for short if you guys want one. How do you open shorts? I can do that so uh, so you that you know how to open shorts also. Okay, let's do something else. Let's go to... Uh, Cardano, right? Let's say that we want Cardano USDT. Let's say that our strategy is telling us to go on Cardano, go short on Cardano USDT. Okay. How do we do that? Going again to the spreadsheet. Now, now, first, of course, it's your strategy that tells you, hey, you have to buy here. You, you must have a strategy. Then uh, you decide where your stop loss is going to be. So let's say that your stop loss is like 5% away. Now, when you have, when you know this stuff, you then go to the spreadsheet and now you will use isolated margin USDT pairs, right? So now you're going to go here to Cardano or you can search for it if you want Cardano BTC. We don't have Cardano USDT for some reason. So let's just put it like this. Then the date here of when you open the trade. Then right here you can put like uh, if you are long or short. In this case, we're going to be short. And this is very important because... To know how much your profit loss you made, right? It's different formula. So you have to make sure that you are using the, the appropriate stuff. Let me actually, I forgot to mention you this. This spreadsheet will calculate how much your profit and loss is. 
based uh i mean after your fees right on binance so let's say that we enter bitcoin at 19000 and we exited at uh 25000 when you put here your entry and exit price it will be automatically calculated how much profit you made on this trade profit loss percentage and profit loss in dollars you even have here uh basically for screenshots right of the trade so later on you can go and check the exact trade and this is the uh close the the date for the close right so this is for the bitcoin let me now show you for cardano right so you're gonna go here short let's say that our stop loss is five percent away next you have to put your account balance whatever it is and now you have your position size but as you guys remember uh actually here is okay right because it's a usdt pair so when you trade usdt pairs you don't even need this two right so actually i can remove this two from the oops i will delete this two from the spreadsheet so you don't even need this right then you have your uh, position size right here so basically you have to now transfer your money and open this trade now you are ready to go to the margin to the isolated margin which is right here you always start first in the isolated by transferring the capital right transfer the capital so in this case we have to transfer some usdt uh, first you have to make sure that from is from spot wallet to isolated right so you will transfer your money right you will transfer if you have to open two thousand dollar position you can transfer uh like let's say in this case six seven hundred dollars you can transfer uh or whatever number right but of course there is a minimum because they will not let you to borrow if you transfer a hundred dollars they will not let you to borrow 20 times more they let you to borrow uh nine times more right so in this case uh let's put here like five hundred dollars oops five hundred dollars then how do you open short you open short by selling right you have to the long position you open by buying the the short position you open by selling right so you have to click on sell market then borrow and then put here instead of the amount of cardano other you you want to put total right so you want to put here the basically the usdt value so here you're gonna bring this value from the spreadsheet which is two thousand five hundred and twenty dollars put it right here hit on market sell and this trade is going to be executed now the next step right after you do that is to set your uh, stop loss right so in this case it's gonna be a buy stop loss stop limit right and let's say that our stop limit is above this level so you're gonna let's say that if cardano goes above 0 0.40 uh, 400 we want to exit so you're gonna put here 4400 and then in this case when we are putting a stop limit for uh to close a short this price have to be higher right so you can do something like this put here the amount of uh cardano that you sold right and you will easily know that if you go to order history you will be able to see how how many coins you sold right and now we don't have history here for we have for the btc so you will be able to see here amount under amount you will be able to see the number of coins put here the number of coins that you want to buy back hit margin uh by cardano right and actually here you don't need such a higher price because you will borrow more capital you can put something like this and uh just hit mar uh, mar margin by cardano and you are ready to go and again one of the two things will happen either cardano will go down which in this case you're going to be making money if it goes down before because you are shorting and then the strategy will tell you to exit at some point so you will have to exit or it will go up and uh it will hit your stop loss so you you will whatever of the two happens let's say that your trade is gonna be closed right once your trade is closed you have to go to repay and repay your debt right if you borrow in this case usdt you have to repay your full debt here and then whatever is left just go and transfer it back uh transfer it back to your spot wallet 
using this option right here and then USDT so you will be ready to go so I believe now we have plenty of examples uh, that you can go through uh, if something is not clear you can watch this video again and again if again something is not clear you can uh, ask me in the comments right uh, but this is basically how you do it and again you guys must do the things that I teach you in this video in order to be profitable uh, in trading if you just go and use the isolated margin uh, you're gonna just be gambling uh, in the casino and this is not you don't want to do that right in the long term because it's not how it works uh, so this is it for this video and again if you haven't liked the video like it right and subscribe to my channel to get notifications when I put new videos uh, and teach you how to be trading cryptocurrencies